What's happening my hoodlums? Welcome back to the 8th episode of Hoodie and Might. And as you can see during that beautiful, lovely time lapse, a Collada Might and myself finally finished the slime form. Well, off camera, but yeah, we did a lot with the replay mod basically. But you guys didn't come here for that. You guys came to see if it is functioning. Well, very glad to say that it is functioning well. Well, yeah, well, it's somewhat functioning well. Still, it's functioning. We got some slime, so we can make a few contraptions. So, yeah, everything is looking okay. Also, if you remembered last episode, uh, at the end, we... We had a bit of a, like a spawning issue because remember I showed you at the end that the slimes were spawning right at the bottom, like those blocks right over here. Well, I fixed that. I uh, slabbed it up, and uh, as you can hear, all the slimies are spawning on top of us. So, job well done. But I suppose you guys are also wondering during the time lapse, what is this mysterious wither? pattern that I built on this side of it of the farm what does it all mean well let me show you what it all means if I break through here come down here I don't know if you guys remember the last episode but we defeated the wither and uh, this is the cave that we beat him in so much so that I even put a sign here even the clip date that when we did it, Hoodie and Mike episode 7. If you guys haven't checked it out, go have a squiz. It was quite fun and entertaining. But once again, some of you must be wondering, but why would I put this little somewhat Easter egg here? Well, just that purpose alone. It's an Easter egg. A little Easter egg or a little... Homage, I think you call it. Yeah, like a little homage to where Kalana and myself beat the weather. And I think this suited very well. Unfortunately, um, it is covered by a few layers. I think it's like three layers. <laughs> this is the top of it. But uh, yeah, so um, if you guys are wondering where I got the inspiration for this lovely pattern, I actually got it. Uh, if you look at the... Uh, chiseled red sandstone they actually got a pixel art of a wither on it so i got some inspiration i actually used a bit of black stone and some deep slate and these two blocks actually go so well together it absolutely looks gorgeous together and it actually fits it very well in the time lapse uh but that wasn't also the only thing um about it what i actually found this to be uh very f uh funny about this pattern is um so the hole and i'll show you a clip on screen now and i'll explain it to you and as you can see as i show you this using lifematica the pattern literally falls directly into the hole which is like super convenient so i decided to put a little sign commemorating Kalatamite and myself's first fight together with the weather and it went pretty well so yeah it fits exactly in perfectly as it was it's very uncanny you can almost call it as if it was a sign so yeah it just barely fits in I mean if I show you I mean, just, just look at that. It just fits. The pattern fits in so perfectly in here. I just thought I had to show you guys that off, little thing off camera while I was building it. But time to move on with the episode. So today, we're going to be doing another project. Like I said in the last episode, we are building a gold farm. A gold farm for all our gold needs. So, where are we going to build this gold farm? Well, I've already picked out a location. Uh, of course, like I said last time, Crimson Forest, Nether Waste, 
Um, it's pretty self-explanatory at this stage, but uh, in order to have a efficient gold farm, you got to build it in the nether wastes. And since I already have a nether waste, I thought I'd build it close to home uh, in our nether waste tunnel, and I even got some scaffolding over here. So as we climb all the way to the tippity top, and all the way to the bedrock ceiling, I did myself a little bit of a thing called breaking bedrock. And also I built ourselves a little nether portal here, so we got access. This goes near our uh, hostile mob farm, which is about a little bit more that direction. And I put a complimentary uh, ender test. So basically, this is where we're going to build our gold farm. And the gold farm that we are going today is Nembom's gold farm design. It's super epic, uh, super, uh, it just works, okay, it just, it just works. Um, so yeah, we're going to be building that today. But good for me, this is going to be the second time I'm building it. I'm currently, right, I like the words currently building it in my personal world. I have yet to finish it. Yet to finish it. Procrastination is real. But eventually I will get around to finishing it. Eventually. But for the time being, Kalanamat and myself has to collect some resources because uh, this uh, gold farm here requires a lot, and I mean a lot, of resources. Uh, glass, uh, some grindstones, um, magma. Magma blocks is the big one. I mean, there's a lot of magma blocks that goes into it. But. I'm confident that now I've got another person who can help me, we can relatively get it done as soon as possible. And perhaps, maybe, just maybe, we can start making bigger and newer projects as we go along, like Bartry. But don't let myself get ahead of myself. Sorry, let me rephrase that. Don't let my words get ahead of myself. Correct phrase. Talking is really hard for me, okay? But anyways, Kalamad and I are going to go collect some resources, so we'll check you in a bit. See ya. <coughs> well, Kalamad, it took us hours, but... Yep. We finally got all the materials that we need to complete this farm. Right. So, and... one... Two, three, four, four, and five. And as you guys can see, we already started our little platform on top. Yeah, just to give us uh, a place to start. A place to start. Yeah, we still got to fill in a few blocks in there, but... Just a few. Just a few. <laughs> but uh, in the end, I think it's going to look just spectacular. Yeah, I think it is going to look spectacular. Uh, we also need to make sure that uh, nothing else spawns, because I've noticed with the, a few little layers down there at the bottom, might yeah. interfere with the farm's rates. The but... Well, we'll get to that part when we have to, so... Yeah, first but of first... All, first yeah, of all, first... we got to build the farm up first, so... Yeah. So, let's get our builder's hats on and let's start building this gold farm. And we'll see you when it's done. When it's done.
Well, 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 what can I say? Kalal and Mart and myself have been very, very busy. It took us about two hours to complete this thing. So, and as you guys can see, we've been collecting a few golden ingots and nuggets. And, uh, yeah, successful. But uh, in order to make it successful, we had to do a little bit of grindy work. So in order to get the most efficient rates that we could get out of the farm, we had to do a lot of uh, spawn proofing. So Kalanamad and myself, we decided, okay, well, let's start slabbing the sufficient area that the gold is gold farm is under and let's try and uh, slab the part of the nether that we need to do so the best way we thought would to basically mob proof our nether under our gold farm would to use the new material of cobble beef clay that was a huge mistake because we did not have enough cobble deep slate and deep slate is extremely hard to mine don't do it but nonetheless we got the job done and this all the way here all the way there all the way here over there some little things over there some little crevices over there there's even like little caves up there they are completely slabbed so you must be asking yourself right now hoodie how long did this take you an entire day an entire day of just mining deep slate for the cobble slabs that we didn't have and of course slabbing the entire area and after that it was completely oh just like you did not want to see another bit of cobble deep slate ever again it's just bruh, bruh. I can't believe we just slabbed it but hey it's done What's done is done, it's finished, and the farm is working sufficiently, as you guys just saw. So yeah, all these tiny caves and this, it's just very difficult task just to look into everything. We had to sometimes go into spectator to see some of the areas that weren't slabbed. And uh, I guess it really paid off, eh? So we're going to move on with the episode and get on with what we want to do next. Bartering! That's right, we want to trade all these gold ingots for that precious bartering loot. But how are we going to do it? Well, we, we've got a crimson forest in another way, so Kalanamada and myself are going to go running around and barter with a few piglins and hopefully get some sweet trades. And then maybe in the future we'll make a bartering farm undecided yet but i hope you guys enjoy this next part of uh Kalana and me uh, getting uh some piglin loot right we got a whole chest of ingots yeah what shall we do with it let's do some bot before we do some bartering let's just craft all these really lovely i went afk for a few minutes so let's craft all these nuggets oh. up Okay, like just thinking with this, you can make ridiculous amounts of barter. Yeah, so you can get a ton. But then of again, stuff. you put in the effort, and then it's worth it. Exactly. This is exactly what you want from a gold farm. Okay, if you had a bartering thing, where if you were to give a piglin a uh, a gold block. Maybe you would give you like a netherite hoe, you know, because it's a rare Yeah, item. that would be cool. Or if you gave him... I bet someone could make a, a, a data pack like that. Yeah, so something where you, you know, because I threw that out a long time ago. I was like, oh, you know, that would be cool. But it looks like they just went with the plain old, give them a gold ingot and they'll exchange you with something for it. So, oh well. Shiny! Oh, I found you. Oh! Mm. 
Mm -hmm. I'm trying to throw him in the pond. <laughs> oh! There's a hogling. Are you ready? Are you ready, it's mate? Like that, eh? He has soul speed too. Oh, okay. Oh, there's a piggy wiggy. Right. Wait, let's go get him. Oh, oh look out, there's a no. hoglin. Oh, I saw the hoglin. Oh, Yay. Blackstone. I love Blackstone. Crying obscene. Who doesn't? Oh, Blackstone. Leather. String. We are set for life. I just would really like some soul speed threes to complete my diamond armor. Really? There you go. So to speak. What did, did you give? There you go. Soul speed. Wait. So you just dump it on the ground? Yeah. I bought it like a boss. Is that it? How much are you trading? We're just gonna trade a stack. Hey. How much did you give them? I don't know. I think I gave them like two stacks or something. There's then 50. You... There was 50 ingots there. Well, we don't have enough. So please, just. We don't have enough space to put all this stuff, so please, just... Use it still. Yeah, just use this last one, so we can move on. Right. I'm back. Where did I put... Yeah, I packed my rockets instead of the... Whatever. Yeah. Alright, so this is all the good loot that we've got so far. Apparently. They give you plenty of gravel and blackstone. And some soul yeah. too. We can make one soul feet is soul soul speed. Soul speed. Soul speed three. So we both got a soul speed three. Yep. And then here's I wonder if I can spec totally album. Oh I got a stack as well. So they actually give yeah. you plenty of that stuff. Yep. Oh wow. So we're gonna have to figure out a new uh, bartering farm design, but those are easy to make. To make. Mm. Oh well. So are we are we done? Yeah. Are we done? I think we're done. Oops. Sorry. Don't but anyways, I'm gonna make the outro here. So since we never do okay. outros together. But okay. anyways, I'll just run around you. But Let's anyways, go. Anyways, if you guys enjoyed what you enjoyed, leave a like, subscribe, and share with as many as your friends uh, as you can. And um, yeah, we'll see you in the next episode. I'm Kalada Martin. He's Hoodie. And we'll Bye. See and we'll see you in the next one. Bye. You suck. I oh, know. That was awful. <laughs>